and uh, let's say this particle so we have now the smoke chunk let's name it particle small okay now we need to define what channels from the particles will be saved so we need the ID channel that uh, will define the uh, particle ID we don't need the normal channel because we will not use any reflection in our thing uh, we don't need the density channel because the particle flow doesn't support it we just need the velocity, position, color, ID channel but uh, if you, we want to use the technique from the previous tutorial to color the particles we need the H channel A channel and lifespan channel but first we need to make it available by going to the particle view and uh, adding a delete operator Here. and by setting the lifespan of each particle let's set it to 30 frames and a variation of 5 ok so now that we defined the channels that we want to export we can go to up and uh, if we will uh, right click on the save particles we can see that uh, we have single frames, active segment, custom range and uh, custom frames uh, we can see here that we have it from 0 to 100 to change this go to render setup F10 and uh, click active time segment uh, sorry range and uh, set it to, from 0 to uh, 50 one more thing, if uh, you want to have more particles than you, uh, than, than you simulated, you can use the uh, partition, uh, partitioning of uh, the particles and set, uh, so partitioning uh, will, um, will, uh, will uh, create more particles for each so for each particles we uh, it will see the the position of the particle and will create more particles around it so it will look will look like you simulated 10 times uh, times or x times particles uh, so we, we define the, how much particles we want for each time for each particle okay, let's set it to 5 um, ok now we can go back to the save particles right click now we have here custom range 0 to 50 let's click save particles now we are rendering the saving the smoke channel particles. Okay. After we saved it, we can the, we can now uh, create the fire uh, channel and uh, save it. Sorry, it was created. We just need to define that we'll be using it and uh, just save it with the same technique. By uh, now go uh, to the particle view and um, click the Fumafix Pier and go to and check the smoke channel and check the fire channel. Okay. Now minimize this. You can see here that we're using a fire channel. So let's see the difference.
So, uh, as we saw from our simulation, our uh, smoke and fire goes in the same area. So, we don't have, we don't see much difference in the viewport. So, let's check fire again. And, uh, You can uh, set the maximum value and the minimum value for the fire. Okay, so let's pick the uh, where how files will be named and where we each will be saved. We'll uh, name this particle file the same channels. Same partition count. Let's render it. Okay. Now that we defined the, the our, we saved our our uh, smoke channel and fire channel. We can uh, can hide this, but first set this to non. Uh, you can delete it uh, or just hide it. Uh, so uncheck this box, so it it will not render. Hide all this. We don't need the particle flow anymore. So we will disable it, disable it here. Mm. Turn off by right clicking and setting turn off. Uh, so let's create a PRT ladder to load our particles. Okay, so after we created it. We can uh, select our uh, saved particles. So let's pick the fire. Now uh, we need to make sure that uh, its uh, pos position, absolute position, is the same. So we'll uh, uh, go to select and move. And right click the um, these spinners to set it at the origin of the world. Okay, so now we have uh, these particles. Now we need to make another copy to, to uh, select our uh, smoke particles. You can uh, do the same thing by Creating the PRT ladder or just uh, make a clone of this ladder. Edit clone or Ctrl V. Uh, make sure you don't select instance or reference, just select copy. And let's name this uh, PRT small. And this will be PRT prior. Okay, select the PRT smoke. You can click multiple times, which will select uh, uh, one by one. So we'll click until you see PRT smoke. Go to modify panel. Uh, we remove, uh, we'll remove the fire particles. We'll add the smoke particles. Okay, so now we have the smoke and the fire particles. We can color. Uh, set a different color in the viewport. Okay, fire. Um, I think I have exported the color channel. 
Yes. Uh, one second. Yep, yeah, I've exported the color channel, so we'll see in viewport the color from particles. We don't need this for this tutorial. Uh, use this if you want to use the original color channel from the film fix. Okay, so now let's, uh, we, if we change the color now of the object, it will not, uh, will not change it in the viewport. So, sorry. <clears throat> so now we have uh, individual um, individual uh, uh, nodes for each particles, so we cannot uh, add different the Krakatoa channels modifier. So we can define the different colors and other properties in MagmaFlow for each channel, for smoke or for fire. So uh, let's see what we have now. Oops, sorry. Uh, let's go to batch Krakatoa. It's set now for, uh, to save the particle to the final sequence. Let's change it to, this to render the scene particles. Right click and set the single fragment for now. Let's render so we can see. Fire and the smoke channel. So the smoke is on the right. Okay. So let's move it back. I click here. Now to apply the the same technique uh, that